My name is Coley Perry. I am the founder and CEO of Friend Health. We are re-engineering the way that healthcare is delivered in the home for the most vulnerable and complex populations. The problem here is that uh, healthcare institutions like Medicare Advantage plans and Medicaid MCOs have about 10% of their most complex population, of their population is about 90% of the cost of that population. And it's hard to manage them from a care management perspective with a care management team that is in the four walls of your insurance company and not out there in the field because these are highly complex um, chronic diseases. The patients look something like this. They have four or five uh, chronic diseases, diabetes, CHF, COPD being some of the most pre prevalent, social determinants of health, uh, low access to health care. A lot of folks who are on Medicaid live in health care deserts where they may be homebound because they're elderly um, and they no longer have access to a car um, or they just can't pay for a bus ticket. So oftentimes these people are overutilizing the ER which drives health care costs extremely high. That's $3,000 for an ambulance, that's $10,000 for the inpatient visit, another $10,000 for an overnight visit. So you can see how the costs add up dramatically. Um, there is something that can be sort of a safety net or is supposed to be a safety net for these folks, and that's home health care. But unfortunately, home health care's incentives are built incorrectly. Episodic home health care is 30, 60, and 90 days episodes of care where patients get care, CMS comes in if you check all the boxes and they pay you your 2,500 bucks to the home health care company and that home health care company is on, the, is on their way. Um, the, the other problem is that the they're super technology deficient at home health care companies. They operate in a call center model. Um, it takes three to 14 days to get somebody into the home um, because they're operating on phones and faxes in 2018. So that patient, those patients are headed for a cliff, a cliff after that episode of care. That's where we come in. So Friend Health is building multidisciplinary teams that are built for a purpose, and that is longitudinal care, because people's chronic conditions do not go away after that episode of care. So we're taking on these high-risk patients on behalf of these health plans. We're managing their chronic conditions over on a longitudinal scale to get them better and to cut down on that ER usage or to cut down on the over-medication. Um, these care teams look like uh, a mix of registered nurses, uh, nurse practitioners, 24-7 triage lines, uh, Medicare management teams, health coaches, which are vitally important and more important than, uh, than are given credit for them. And this is kind of where we sit in the ecosystem. We augment what the PCP is doing, but unfortunately the PCP is reactive healthcare. So what happens with the PCP is somebody walks through their door and they work backwards on what happened to that patient and why they came to them. What we're doing <laughs> what, what we're doing is we are proactive healthcare. We can get into the home, we can be inside of their lives um, and manage those health conditions that lead to those high risk scenarios. So we spent a year and a half in a beta program in New York City. We've done over 3,000 visits with our practitioners. We've saved a million dollars for our partners, um, kept an NPS score of over 89 the entire time, and saved two lives directly. I think we've saved a lot more, but saved two lives directly by walking into the door and knowing something had, had, what poor was happening um, in that time. We're extremely confident in our model and our technology. Now our technology is what allows us to do this in, a, in the most efficient way possible. What we've built is essentially our own EMR from scratch. And that EMR is not just an EMR to house patient health information for our practitioners to move around in, but it's also a logistics platform to get our care teams from point A to point B in the most efficient way, completely um, dis disintermediating uh, what would be needed as a call center. Outside of that, we're adding um, any, any type of health care, we're touching it. So there are ADT feeds coming in so we know when one of our patients is going to the hospital, we can send somebody to the hospital to manage, help them manage them, their way through. There are many things that we can do set up with this platform that isn't being done with home health care. So we're so confident in what, uh, that our technology can do this and through our beta program that we've made a deal with a Medicare Advantage uh, partnership. They have 10,000 members in this Medicare Advantage plan and they estimate that 10% of those members, um, they can't really do much about their care with the way that things are set up with their, their network of physicians. And they want to get us to get more in the weeds with those patients. So, they're, so we're going full risk with them. So that means they're giving us the capitated payments from the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services um, to us for those members. It's an average of about $1,500 per month for the care of those members 
That goes to our care team, and then if they go to the hospital, we're on the hook for it. Um, we have 1,500 members uh, starting out day one, um, and we're building a network of uh, one practitioner for every 23 members. So with that, for the highest risk members, we can be in their home every single day. For the lower risk members, maybe every, every other day, maybe every three days. But we can, uh, we can change that up as the risk scoring goes for those patients. Uh, what does that mean for us and for our partner? In the first year, that's $27 million in revenue for us, so that for our care teams. Um, and it's 14.5, because we're taking off the balance sheet of our partner, $14.5 million in loss that they're experiencing with these 1,500 patients. Because we're uh, delivering a much higher level of care than these patients are getting, which is basically zero today, outside of the hospital, um, we believe that we can deliver uh, more data and quality scores to our partner. Um, and for a 50,000 member health plan, that equals one star score equals a $25 million bonus opportunity. We're building a world-class team um, from value-based care, um, areas of healthcare, um, Iora Health, Privia Health, DeVita, Parsley Health, um, and from the tech side, um, you know, Flatiron Health. Um, we have a lot of partners um, that, that we're working with to make this true because this is, uh, we're taking a big swing at a big problem um, and we're going to need them. So we're looking for more partnerships with Medicare Advantage plans, Medicaid MCOs, as well as uh, anything along the risk spectrum. That could be an ACO. Um, and we're also raising around to operationalize our partnership right now um, that I described to you with that Medicare Advantage plan. So if anybody wants to join us, let me know. Thank you for listening. <laughs>